Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I had a viewer request. Um, I've been looking for the request in my lists. I can't find it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get so much, um, so, mu so much communication comes through via email and uh, the YouTube channel and the Facebook page that sometimes things drop off um, and I can't find them again. But I do remember that a viewer wanted me to do a tutorial on piping audio between applications under Linux. Uh, for an, Well, in his example, and where I use it the most often, um, he wanted to take the audio from his SDR program. I think he's running QUISK, QUISC, uh, and then pipe it to FL Digi or another program for decoding. Uh, and he wanted me to look at um, something called virtual audio cable. Now, virtual audio cable is actually a, a plug-in for Pulse Audio. Oops, what did I do there? Cut that out. Is a plug-in for Pulse Audio that gives Pulse a, another device called Virtual Sync. And um, this allows you to send audio from a program to that Virtual Sync and then from that Virtual Sync to another program kind of a roundabout way of doing it uh, and it's a little more complicated than a way that I like to use so I thought what I would talk about is the way that I do it um, oh one other problem with uh, this approach of uh, virtual audio cable using Pulse Audio is it only works with programs that support Pulse Audio which is most of them but not all of them the method that I'm going to talk about will work with just about any program that does audio under Linux. So what we need to do is we need to install something called Pulse Audio Volume Control. Now you can do that in Synaptic Package Manager as I have opened here and you can just search for Pulse Audio Volume Control to find it. Here it is here. The actual package name is PAVU Control with no E on the end. Um, in the terminal In the terminal, you could install it by typing sudo, which means run this command as root, apt get, apt dash get, install pavu control. And that will ask for your password and then install it. It's complaining because I have Synaptic open, but it would just, it would just install it for you. Now, once you have PAVU control installed, piping audio becomes very simple. For example, I have the SDR running here on 20 meters, and I was hoping there'd be some activity on PSK because I want to use FL Digi. Well, we can still use it to illustrate it. I don't see any activity. As you can hear, um, we've got audio coming from Cubic. So let's say I want to use FL Digi to decode um, a mode. I'm going to go here and select PSK. Now, right now, FL Digi is picking up the desktop audio. It's you can see my voice is what's coming in through the waterfall here. Move this over. Uh, yep, there you can see that's my voice right there. But what we want it to do is we want it to hear audio from the SDR program. So let's go run Pulse Audio Volume Control. So here is the program. Now across the top we've got several tabs and this shows playback shows us the programs that are generating sounds. This is FL Digi the uh, icon. It, it doesn't have a name because FL Digi in this case is not directly supporting Pulse Audio. I'm using Port Audio, which is what I wanted to illustrate here. You can use this method with any program, even ones that, that don't support Pulse Audio. FL Digi does. I just don't have it in that mode. I have it using ALSA. Um, recording, this is the tab we're interested in. 
This will show us the programs that are currently recording audio. Uh, as you can see, OBS, which I'm using to capture this video, is, um, is in the list, but here is FL Digi. Recognize the little icon there, that's FL Digi, and it's recording from um, the audio adapter that I'm using for my little microphone. So here I can change in real time the source that FL Digi is tapped into. And if we look here, you'll see that there are these entries that say monitor of. That's what we want, is we want monitor of. And what I want to use is my built-in audio, monitor of built-in audio, analog stereo. This is what's feeding my speakers, right? So if I choose that, now you can see my voice is, is still being picked up by OBS, but FL Digi is seeing silence, and that's because I've got the SDR muted. Let's go back here and unmute the SDR. And right away, you can see that FL Digi is hearing the sound. Drop that volume down a little bit. Um, FL Digi is hearing the sound now from the uh, SDR. If I have this set to monitor of built-in audio, everything that I hear on the speakers will go to this program. And likewise, you can choose other sources in here. Um, yeah, just recording sources. But that's the easiest way to pipe the audio coming from my SDR to FL Digi uh, with Pulse Audio Volume Control. And it works really well. I wish somebody was sending something right now. Let's see, there's some CW down here. So there you can see, FL Digi is uh, decoding the CW. So really quite easy. Pulse Audio Volume Control. And this is persistent. Um, whatever I set in here will remain that way. So if I close FL Digi, all right, it went away from the recording tab. Now I'll go and launch it again. And you can see that it remembered this as my choice. I wanted it to use uh, for FL Digi. So that persistence is nice as well. So that's the easy way to do uh, what you were wanting to do. I'm sorry I don't remember your name. <laughs> Hold on a moment. There we go. So that's the easy way to pipe audio to and from applications in Linux um, for doing what we want to do with, with ham radio here, uh, for decoding what we're receiving from our SDR. And it works with all, all of the programs too. If you wanted to record the audio that you were receiving, um, say in Audacity, let me go and launch Audacity. And I'll start it monitoring. Now if we go back to Pulse Audio Volume Control, also plug in Audacity is capturing from the audio adapter, but I could just as easily tell it to capture from monitor of built-in analog, which is what's feeding my speakers. And now I'll unmute the SDR, and you'll see that Audacity is seeing the audio from my SDR so I can record it. And these these syncs work um, simultaneously. FL Digi is still receiving the audio and decoding the CW. Audacity is making a recording of it. So Pulse Audio lets us, lets us split and send audio to different things at the same time. It's very useful. So there you go. I hope that uh, 
took care of that viewer's questions and uh, gave him a tip that he can use to start uh, decoding from his SDR under Linux. And I uh, hope the rest of you found this useful as well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.